In this video, we will cover how to import data using the Data Import Wizard. To start, download a sample lead file from the task page, Data Loader and Data Import Wizard. Go to your downloads and open the file named Lead Import. These are sample leads we are going to import into the system. Before you import your data into Salesforce, the first step is to prepare your file. Preparing here means to clean up your data import file by removing inconsistencies and it is free of duplicates. In this sample file or sample records, we have some inconsistent values. So, let's clean them up by applying filters. We can see there are inconsistencies in the San Francisco and SF values in the city column. Click on Select All. Select San Francisco and SF only. Copy San Francisco in all the rows. Go back to your filter and click on Select All. Now let's check the province state slash column. We can see that there is inconsistency in the way California state is represented. Some rows have CA and others have California and Cali. To clean them select CA, Cali and California and copy CA to all the rows. Select all and now you can see that there are just two values CA and NC which correspond to California and North Carolina short codes. There are inconsistencies in the rating entries column as well. Let's clean them, click on select all. Then select these values, cold first, cold, freezing in ice cube, and copy cold in all the rows. Let's move on to hot and on fire. The value here should be hot. Deselect all other values and copy hot in the remaining rows. Now we have three consistent values cold, hot and warm in all the rows. Our file is ready. Another thing to check is that your header names are similar or in line to the object field's API names. In this case, we are going to import leads. So, the header names are as close to the field API names as possible. Now, we will see what's the advantage or what is the use of this cleanup when we upload it in the data import wizard. Before that, we need to save this as a CSV file because we cannot import Excel files. Save this file as a CSV format. Next, log into Salesforce org. Click on the gear icon and click on setup. In the quick find box, enter data import and here you will find data import wizard. The import wizard page shows the most recent import jobs that you did and any in progress import jobs. Before we move to the next step, it is advised to read some basic info on how to use the data import wizard and also watch videos from Salesforce on how to go about uploading your data. Here is the wizard. The first step is the pre-step, which is prepare your data for import, which we already did. Now let's launch the wizard and see the remaining steps. Click on launch wizard to open up. First, choose which object you are going to import the data into. Please note that Data Import Wizard supports accounts, contacts, leads, solutions, and campaign members in terms of standard objects and all custom objects. So, these are the custom objects in my org. Let's select leads. The second column shows what do you want to do? Do you want to add new records? Update existing records? Or do a combined operation of add new and update existing records, which is called an upsert. We'll be using the add new records for this video. In match lead by, as you hover over this question mark, a prompt opens up which states that these are unique values in your data. For example, ID values or email values. ID would come in when you are going to do an update or an upsert. In this case, we'll be inserting fresh data as there is no ID that exists. In match lead, we see two options name and email. Email is unique in our data. Assign new leads to this source, select the lead source value, we will select other here. If you have any active assignment rules that you want to run on this lead data, you can select this option. For example, we have the standard assignment rule. We'll skip this. Use assignment rules to email owners. So, when the records are assigned, email notifications will be sent to record owners automatically. We'll skip this as well. Assign all leads to campaigns. If you select this, by default, 
any active or in progress campaign will automatically get mapped to these leads and these leads will get imported as campaign members to that active in progress campaign. We will skip this. Trigger workflow rules and processes. This feature is unique to the data import wizard. You can control whether to run workflow rules and any processes like process builders and flows for these new records. We don't want to do that. We will leave this field unchecked which its default state. And then if you have any record types, the wizard will show you an option to select the relevant one. We'll keep it as enterprise leads. In the third column, we can drag the CSV file into the wizard. Let's select the CSV file and drag it here. We will leave character code method unchanged, it is not required in this example. Values separated by commas or tabs is also not relevant for us. By default, it is set to use comma separated values. Let's move on and click on next. Salesforce will now map Salesforce object field names to CSV header names as much as possible automatically. You can see all the fields in the file have been mapped to the corresponding lead fields except for two fields, which are highlighted in red. Click on Map. Here, the address line 1 in Salesforce is identified as street. Let's select that and click on Map. And then scroll down to Owner is actually the lead owner. You can also map more than one field against the CSV header, not relevant in our use case. You can see some sample data as well. If you're happy with the setup, click on Next. You'll be directed to a review screen. This page shows that you are going to import new records to leads. As you can see there are 15 headers or fields that have been mapped. And there are zero unmapped fields. You can now go ahead and start your import. A dialog box will appear to show that your import has started. Click OK to view your import status on the Bulk Data Load Jobs page. If you click on OK, it will take you to the Bulk Data Load Jobs page. Here you can see the result of 44 records. There were no failed records, and the status is now complete. You can either monitor the status of your data loading job from the Bulk Data Load page, or on the Data Import Wizard starting page as well. Now let's go and see if our data is visible on the UI. If you go to all open leads, you can see Adrian Benavides was one entry and similarly Al Brumand was another. So, our data was successfully imported. Let's open up an entry and see if the relevant values are there. By default, the lead owner was assigned to the system admin. Name, company. You can verify the details and the selected lead source as other which was mapped. And, in the address section, a compound field was imported as well along with the address line, city, state, province, and PIN code automatically mapped. This is how you can import new records using the Data Import Wizard. Thank you.